Police Constable Awards today here at the Villa Marina, a new venue, and some great stories which we're going to play out on MTTV over the next few days. We'll, we'll try and give uh, as many as we can some airspace. But uh, with me is uh, Mark and Robert, who, I mean, the story was told to you, it moved everyone in the room. I mean, it was an emotional moment. And do you mind if you take us through what happened? Do you like to pick up on that? Well, we were basically at the station and we received a call from our joint emergency control room basically stating that uh, an ambulance was Ramsey bound responding to a young girl who was choking uh, in the area of Moorock Promenade. Mark and I uh, dispatched immediately and made to the address. Uh, like the geographic location was just a, a, a house name rather than a number on the street, which I knew. And when we got there, pulled up alongside and basically dispatch Mark to the doorway and uh, I grabbed the first aid bag and we made suit to find this young girl who was choking. Do you want to pick up on that Mark there on? I'm next. Um, I'd entered the property um, I'd ascertained on the way up what was happening um, and it was told to me that the um, young girl had stopped breathing and she'd been some five minutes um, unconscious. I'd arrived at the top of the stairs and saw what I saw and it was exactly as described. Um, it was a very difficult situation to deal with, especially with the family there. Um, the, the, the child was at that stage motionless and had blue lips and was unresponsive. So we relied on training. I relied on everything that I'd been taught. Um, drew on some, uh, some uh, uh, deep breath and uh, started uh, what I had to do. Uh, I mean, the good news on this story was the, the child survived? Absolutely. The young girl is uh, she's alive, she's very well. There's no lasting uh, effects from the, from the incident. And uh, we see her quite regularly out on our general patrol and with also a mother and grandma who are local business people in the north. I've got to tell you, I've had to really push these two to do this interview because you both don't really want any of the glory and the recognition. But you, you did get recognised here today. Yes, it, for me... Um, I'm quite young in service and it's a, an immensely proud moment. Um, I've got to, first of all, it's, it's, I couldn't accept this award without first mentioning that it was a team effort. The, from the quick thinking of the control room to dispatch police officers um, for, 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 the, for the sake that we were so near and able to act so quickly, for the paramedics, the first attender, the, uh, the, the hospital crew, uh, even the training department, uh, it, it was a team effort and uh, we'll, we'll take this one for the team, I think. Good, good to be recognised in, in a way? It is good, yes, but I mean, it would be another two officers stood here if it wasn't ourselves on duty that night. We were just glad we were at the right place at the right time. Mm -hmm.